Okay, hello and welcome to Andrew Weir Art. I just wanted to talk about something really quick, hopefully less than a few minutes of a video, um, about how I've been doing height blends recently. There's um, a good tutorial um, about Wolfenstein 2, um, which I will link in the description. But other than that, there's just another little trick that I use when blending heights, because things can get out of control. For example, if I replace this and put it in there, then it's getting things are just coming out too high because the values on this are between 1 and 0 pretty much. So the edges are very sharp, so the fall off is going to be a bit different and things like that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am just, I fix it a little bit. I would like to spend a little bit more time and actually actually um, get rid of this little lip that's beneath it, but that's not bothering me right now. Um, what I basically do is just use two of the histogram nodes and I take the original, plant the values with a histogram range. So I'm bringing the range down, but the problem with that is we obviously don't want that value to come in because it's going to start messing with the other things. So what we do want is to mask that off, and I, I don't mask it, I just use a uh, darken with the histogram scan set to pretty high and the contrast set right up, and that just clears off. Um, I might as well just record myself solving a few more issues here. Um, for example, this one is overlapping with this shape here. It's, you know, if you've been doing this for a while, probably that's not very hard to solve. You just want to get that original shape. Um, this is the first time I've done stuff like this, but I'm going to get the original shape. I'm going to do it again with the histogram scan. Uh, you could use a levels node. But I'm going to histogram scan that right to the edge. And then I'm going to say, only blend them within that shape. So obviously it's the wrong way around right now. And I want it blending up to that point. So I'm going to get that histogram scan again. And I'm going to start allowing that to come back out. And that's created just a lot better of a fall off. If I wanted to, I could bring that out a bit further and then contrast that so that I get the true value of my, um, of, of the original shape. But really, I'm gonna soften that and kind of make it look like it's coming out of the original thing. I'm not too happy with the shapes that I've got in here. Um, they're getting all stretched and things. Um, it's partly because I use the shape mapper nodes, so the shape mapper, and it's kind of making it so that you can see the original shape is upright, and in the corners it's, stre it's stretching it so that it points outwards to the corner. So that, that is useful in a lot of situations. Um, it really does help with my corners. What I should be doing here is maybe just cutting off a few bits and just doing it a normal way, just blending it with some straight lines rather than actually going in there and doing it with the shape mapper. Um, but I'm just doing it for a bit of practice and uh, I figured I would record what I've been doing with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.